Hello everyone, welcome to another phaser tutorial. Continuing from our last tutorial, we're now going to insert a picture into our game. So the first thing we want to do is I want to introduce you guys to some of the examples, uh, sprites that phaser has loaded onto their website, which we're going to use for tutorial purposes. Make sure you don't publish these games. So if you go to this website examples.phaser.io slash assets you're gonna find a lot of uh, pictures in here that phaser has used for their example games so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna choose some pictures here that I'm gonna use so um, let's say we go to uh, sky, uh, skies okay go into skies and if you click on any of these pictures, you should be able to see some of the backgrounds. Okay, some of the backgrounds that you can use uh, to represent the sky in your game. And let's say we choose deep space. Okay, so let's say we're going to make a space game. So we want this to be our background. Okay, so to load this picture into our game, let's just copy that um, address. Okay, now to actually load it into our game, uh, what we're going to do is in the preload function, okay, we're going to type in game.load.image bracket. Okay, so what this does is it um, runs a function, okay uh, inside the game object so when we say game dot right we're using this variable here we're saying there is an object inside the game object called load and then there is a function within the load object called image and we're loading that function we're running that function and what this function does is it um, allows you to name a picture that you want to import into the game so let's call this picture background and then we put in um, the address of this picture so that's the address here and then let's uh, finish the bracket so what this does is it imports this picture here into my game and we give it a name called background so later on we can insert this picture into our game under the create function. So to add this background, the coding for that um, is uh, game dot add, okay, um, because this basically adds a picture to our game and uh, if you guys remember when we looked at this picture, it's not going to cover the whole background, right? It's not big enough for the whole background. So we're going to add it as a tile. So it's called tile sprite. Okay, and it's going to start on zero, zero, which means it's going to start tiling from the top left. And it's going to tile for the entire game's width and the entire game's height so the entire it's going to be tiling across the entire width and height of our game and what are we going to use to tile the background we're going to use the background image that I have named here All right, so the same name occurs here okay so if you press F12 now hopefully this should work it should come up with uh, <clears throat> your game so if for some reason you've pressed F12 and um, your background is not loading then what I want you to do is try and change this parameter from phaser.auto to phaser.canvas Right, um, this is just to do with how Phaser renders the uh, renders the game, so uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Just try that. We just wanted to get it working. So if you press F F12 now, 
um, try and see if the picture loads so you can see the picture has now loaded for me okay so now that we have the background picture sorted I want to insert a player object so the player object is the object that we want to try and control and um, the picture that I'm going to use is this picture here okay again on the phaser website there's a picture inside their assets so uh, get this address down it's under assets games asteroids ship copy it to your code okay so I'm gonna go game dot load dot image bracket and again I'm gonna give my spaceship a name so let's just call it ship all right, copy the address, paste it here. And now, because the player object is going to be a character, not a background, we're going to add it as just a normal sprite. And now, when you add it as a normal sprite, you just have to say where you want to add it. So let's say I want to add it um, at x is 400 and y is 300. Okay, so 0, 0 is the top left hand corner of the game. So 400 uh, will be the x value to the right and 300 will be the y value downwards from the top. And um, what sprite are we using? We're using the image ship, which we um, called it over here ship okay so if you save it and you press F12 to load the level okay you can see here that I have now a spaceship right in the middle of my level okay so uh, that's the end of this tutorial here we will do something with the spaceship in the next lesson thanks for watching see you next time